see in Istanbul was ordered to be built by Emperor Justinian I the Great. It was built between the year 532 and 537. In the year 558, the dome collapsed due to an earthquake, and it was rebuilt and rededicated in the year 562. Now this building would have two more partial collapses of the dome. It would be repaired, it would have its images, the holy icons destroyed, it would be decorated, redecorated, the decorations would be covered and uncovered. There would be massive rebuildings of the walls and the buttresses. The windows would be blocked up. Deformations in the initial construction would wreak havoc with the building centuries later. And there would be pillaging of the liturgical furniture and two great massive lootings of the church in 1204 and in 1453. The building would be a Greek Orthodox basilica until 1204, when it became a Roman Catholic basilica. It would become a Greek Orthodox church again in 1261, in an Islamic mosque in 1453, and in 1935 it would be turned into a secular museum. Still, despite all, the building never failed to cast a spell over those people who saw it. And when the emissaries of Vladimir of Kiev came back and described and wrote their impressions in the primary Russian chronicle, this is what they said of the church. We knew not whether we were in heaven or earth, for on earth there is no such splendor or beauty, and we are at a loss how to describe it. We only know that God dwells there in that church amongst men. The Byzantines would never again, after building this church, build a building even one half of this size. The Ottoman Turks would attempt it and eventually succeed, and the building would have a tremendous impact on Ottoman Turkish architecture. So let's look now at the construction of the third Hagia Sophia during the reign and under the order of the Emperor Justinian. <laughs> 